So I was at a computer store the other day, and a friend who was unfamiliar with most of the technology said in frustration, God, there's just so much to learn! The wording of which made me ask, how many decades ago would that phrase have been, there's so much I don't know, instead of, there's so much to learn? What a wondrous time we live in. There's so much to be interested in, and all in a time where the information needed to learn more about these interests is available at our fingertips. What better time could there be to live in? Sorry to end a sentence with a preposition like that. The future keeps sneaking up on us. The ability to learn things at a whim-type command is like living aboard the Starship Enterprise. Computer, play me the Bach cello suite number one in G major, and I want to hear Yo-Yo Ma play it. I can do that right now. Like, we're kind of there already. I stopped myself daydreaming recently on a similar topic. Maybe the best time would be a little bit in the future, where we had spaceships and spaceship captains, and you could maybe bump into a Captain Kirk or Captain Picard type at a convention, if they still had conventions, and get a memoir signed by a commander or captain of a real live spaceship, where they floated around in space for months on end, doing science experiments and playing music. Then I shook myself out of the daydream and reminded myself that I already have a memoir signed by a commander of a spacecraft that really floated around in space for months on end while they did scientific experiments and played music. What? A quick aside, if you want to read a book about how a nine-year-old boy realized his dream of becoming a spaceship captain even though A, there was no such thing as spaceships at the time, and B, his country had no space program whatsoever, then I recommend you read this book. It also has about a trillion life lessons that you need to learn along the way to make that kind of thing happen. Actually, if you can read at all, read this book. It's fantastic. My mom gave it to me. It means a lot to me. Thank you, mom. Now I'm gonna end with a weird-ass Irish toast I just heard on Reddit. To mom, may your coffin be made of a hundred-year-old oak, and may we plant the seeds of that tree together tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day.